Hi, my name is Gala. I am a Lucas Studio expert and the founder of Gala Reports. Today we continue to talk about organic traffic. Uh, I recorded already a couple of videos about it, that and we connected GA4 and Universal Analytics to our dashboard. And uh, on the first video, I mentioned that I found uh, SEO Monitor, uh, this tool, SEO Monitor, and they have free connector and free plan. So I decided to try connect my website and see which data we can pull through this service. I use just three accounts. I have paid one and I think, yeah, actually a paid account will be much better and more interesting because you can connect Google Analytics and can see some landing page data. But anyway, for now, I decided to use just a uh, free option. And uh, let's see what we have there. I already connected it. Mm, let's see how did I do it. Resources, manage, edit data sources. I connected, wow, a lot of them. As you see, <laughs> I tried it a lot. <laughs> um, how, do, how does it look like? So when you see zero charts, so I don't have the, their information. So I didn't use it, in fact. If we go to edit, edit, okay. So when you Google, uh, when you type SEO monitor in connector services, there are four connectors. Organic traffic connector doesn't work for my website. So I don't know why, but it doesn't work. So, but I connected it, I tasted, I tested, uh, but it was broken, discard charges. Uh, let's do like this, uh, add data. So, so monitor. Uh, yeah, you can see four connectors. Campaign, competitor insights, organic traffic, and forecast. Uh, let's connect forecast because I didn't connect it yet. This three connected. This is broken for me. Campaign uh, works, and I found some interesting insights. And there are several tables inside of this connector. And competition insights, I found some interesting information as well. So I will connect for cost just to see how to do it. Uh, I click the connector. I already authorized in Looker Studio, and then I have. Uh, I need to insert a key. Where I can find it? So I want to connect it to show where I find. Uh, so on uh, SEO Monitor website, it, I click to edit profile. And here, API token. So I copy this API token and paste it here. That is it. That is all secret. <laughs> uh, then I have some menu. Uh, for other connectors, I had some yeah, parameters. I can select my website. Here, I don't have other options. For other connectors, I had different options. And I can connect. Actually, it's interesting, will I have some data here or not? Uh, manage, edit data sources, forecast, edit, uh, rename it, data reports, SEO monitor, forecast. Which kind of fields do we have here? Actual traffic, date, estimated, improved traffic, estimated and for Inert, inertial traffic, objective stat, status, search seasonality. Uh, I think that I will not have data here because uh, I cannot connect on the free plan my Google Analytics to the service. But looks interesting that, yeah, it could be some interesting information. Okay, uh, let's check it later. Mm. These I added on the previous videos, and uh, let's scroll down. It was from previous videos. Okay, so monitor. I already edited it mm, because I, 
yeah, I think my video will be super long anyway. So I decided to save your time a bit and already added tables. Uh, okay, so what can I have from SEO Monitor? When I created my pro project, I loaded keywords from Google Search Console. I loaded 100 keywords. Um, uh, and uh, my keywords was, yeah, so they split it, the service split it my keywords by groups uh, by default. Okay, I don't know the logic how this tool split it my keywords by groups, but I can see analytics by groups. And for example, I can see all keywords, wizard import, it, it was a, oh, sorry, a. It was uh, how I imported keywords. And there, there are some other groups that was created automatically. And I can see how many keywords per each group, uh, search volume for each group, um, year over year stats, and some visibility. In my case, it's zero. I don't know why. Actually, if you work with this tool, maybe you can help me with this. But for now, I have zero here. So actually, I would like to remove this uh, table I just wanted to show. And uh, this data source, I will show you which data source I connected here. Um, edit connection, it is campaign connector. And on campaign connector, I selected group performance. Yes. Uh, here we don't have too much fields actually, so I used almost all of them, I think. Yeah, almost all of them I used uh, to show in this table, and uh, here is zero. So maybe in your case it will be useful. For me personally, I don't feel that I want to have this information, so I will remove it. Uh, then, um, it's more interesting for me, I found, let's move up. Uh, the next table from the same campaign connector, it is a keywords positions and opportunities. Here again, we have a group and group here, it's a JSON, I think. Okay, anyway, it's a field with all labels, all groups' names. Uh, we can use it somehow. I create a filter here, but it is not for all groups, but we can filter some of them. So we can create synthetic fields to with, like a, with group names if you need it. I think I don't need it right now uh, because, I'm back. but there is opportunity to create custom fields uh, with labels and uh, set up normal filter for this. Uh, let me know if you're interested in, I will tell you, I will record the video how to do it. Um, but here I can see keyword name. Let's go to this table. So this is a keyword performance here, a group and keyword name. And here actually I have much more fields you see here quite a lot of different fields. I just do, I, I selected which I prefer, which I want to see. Uh, yeah, you can start, if you work with this, you can start from the same fields and uh, then uh, update them based on your project. Here we can see keyword search volume. Let's go to the view mode. This is like how many people, how many users ask for these keywords. And okay, my project is a new one and uh, I don't have yeah, keyword volume here. Uh, then we can have position, desktop position, trend position, mobile position, and keyword estimated additional visits. So if we work on these keywords and, and proof our position, how many visits we could have on our website. And I think this is super useful because we can see, for example, okay, search volume, it's small one. Okay, let's scroll down. Uh, 123 visits. For, for example, uh, let's see. 
Facebook ad report template. Now my desktop position is 100 and my buy position is 100. So I'm, yeah, I don't have traffic on my website. My position is really poor here, but I can see that if I work on this keyword, I could have like more than 100 clicks, uh, website visits, so which could be good. Or even here, uh, 150 because for retention analysis. Uh, so maybe I should write some articles about that or work on some pages on my website to improve their performance. And uh, yeah, based on this information, I can think about my content marketing, uh, ICO strategy and um, improve my website position in Google on ICO. So this, I think, is a super useful table, super useful, um, super useful analysis that, and this data we don't have in Google Analytics, sorry. This data we don't have in Google Analytics, and uh, I think even for this, I would use this SEO monitor connector and this service, and it's free, so why not? Um, okay. Uh, this useful table. Then uh, another table that I found interesting. Uh, for me, it's key keywords rank day by day. Uh, it's connected to keyword rank. I can show you again. I click to edit data source. It's a bit slow actually. Yeah, when I connected so many data sources, it became slow. Pam pam pam. Okay. So this is campaign connector and uh, keywords ranks table. Here are not a lot of fields, but it's super nice information because we can see the same keywords, the same search value as we had here, but we can see position in dynamic day by day. And uh, we can see uh, something wrong with order. Let me fix it. Uh, sorting. What is wrong here? It should be date. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here we can see, for example, so Looker Studio cohort. I was on eight position and. Uh, 13th of March, my position became better. So let's maybe I change something or my competitors change something. For other keywords, my position became worse. I connected the service just several days ago, so I don't see much dynamic here. But anyway, it's yeah, it's recent. It was some 18, then again 33. So something weird starts over here. Yeah, a bit weird. So I can see some weak or strong points, some keywords, and um, can check uh, the situation and uh, do some actions to prevent or um, crisis. But something I think it's really useful. And again, we don't have this data in Google Analytics. This stuff, I think it's interesting, but probably my project or too small or it is too new and I don't have here data. It is another table from Campaign Connector and it calls keywords daily visibility. And here I can see visibility score and visibility mobile score. Here it's 0.1%, so it's nothing interesting, but Let's see how it will go in further. Maybe I will have some data later. Uh, then I found another interesting insights from this connector. It's competitors insights. Uh, it's another connector. Uh, it's again from Xiao blah, blah, blah. Monitor connector, but it is not campaign, it is uh, it is competitor insights connector. In here, we can choose competitor keywords or competitor visibility score. As I don't have visibility score yet, I choose I select the competitors keywords. 
let me rename it the report SEO monitor. Um, uh, what can we see here? Here, when I created my project on SEO monitor website, I added some competitors. I didn't put too much attention there and uh, added some websites, but yeah, I can change them. For now, it's like an example. So I can see my keywords, my search volume, and I can see my own rank, uh, how my rank changed. It's the same data as we saw here. Um, but I can see this uh, position from my competitors. And actually, if I select competitors in a normal way and think about it, um, spend for that a bit more time, uh, it will be more, it will be really interesting stats. For example, Looker Studio report template, I think this keyword templates, and uh, like buymarketers.com has a third position, and these guys had fourth and second six positions. My position is 40. So I would think about it and how can I improve my ACO to be on, to have better position. Uh, but that is became better. I have 12 position more, so or, okay, uh, I went up for 12 positions, so my website became better. Uh, so I think this is useful dashboard, useful table, sorry. And in the beginning of this video, we connected another table. Let's copy this table and check. I think I will not have data there, but let's check. Do you remember we connected forecast? Forecast, yeah, this one, forecast. Yeah, let's see what do we have here. I will remove everything and uh, check. Uh, which dimensions do we have? We have only date. Okay, fine. And even date, we don't have. I don't have any filters. Yeah. Okay, fine. Which metrics do we have? We have actual traffic. Zero. We have estimated something, estimated something. So as I said, I don't have data here. Probably if I use a monitor paid account, I would have some information here. And it will be really interesting for ACO, but not in this phase. Um, yeah, let me know if you use it and how to use it if you do it. I think that is it about SEO monitor connectors. I think that I will use it. I really like this. I really like these tables. Uh, this stuff. I, I think I will remove just my group here. I don't care about groups, and I remove these filters uh, because in my case I don't think that I need. If I have uh, thousands of keywords, yeah, I think I would need it. But for now, let's keep it as it is, without groups. Okay. Uh, that is it, I think. Uh, I absorb SEO monitor free connectors to Looker Studio. We talked about options that we have on pre accounts. For sure, we will have more on paid account. But anyway, I think it's really worth it to use. I really like it. And um, yeah, let me know if you have questions about your monitor connectors. I will try to answer or maybe connect to provider, uh, service provider and ask them if I, don't, if I don't find the answer. Yeah, hope you like this video. Leave comments and see you soon. Bye bye.